my name is Jennifer Sully and I am the East Coast Coordinator, uh, Protest Coordinator and Board Member for Force Racing Frogs. And thank you so much for joining us today. Um, today we are mourning the loss of countless horses and raising our voices for them uh, all across the U.S. Roughly 2,000 horses are killed every single year across the U.S., which is roughly six horses every single day at U.S. tracks. So we are here to raise awareness for them and also to not only remember all of those horses who have been killed in this evil, evil industry, but also to um, remember the horses who are currently suffering on the track, um, confined in their stalls 23 hours a day, and all the horses who are literally being raced to death as we speak. Um, here, uh, we're at Delaware Park uh, today, and at this track, an average of 17 horses are killed every single year at this track. Um, for all of Delaware, it's 18 horses per year. And back in Maryland, where we do our weekly demos, it's 35 horses killed every single year at Maryland tracks. So the reason why there's such a drastic difference is because at Delaware Park, for instance, they only race them for five and a half months, whereas back in Maryland, they park, they race them year round. So um, basically the killing death tolls are all the same. It's just, they race them less here, hence the numbers are lower. But anyway, so I wanted to um, read out the names of the horses who have died at Delaware Park, Laurel Park back in Maryland, Pimlico back in Maryland um, so far this year. Bricktown was killed on July 27th here at Delaware Park. They were injured racing and they were euthanized back in their barn area. Sorry, pause. <laughs> Bull Out was killed on February 5th, training at Laurel Park. Their foot was turned in the wrong direction. They had a comminuted fracture and they were only two years old. Celtic Cousin died on February 10th at Laurel Park training. The jockey heard a pop and there were multiple fractures. Auspicious Lad died February 23rd at Laurel Park training. Suddenly collapsed and died in the dirt. That horse was only three years old. Witty Banter died at Laurel Park training on April 18th. The rider heard a loud pop and that horse suffered multiple fractures. Golden Pegasus on April 20th died at Laurel Park racing, multiple fractures, tremendous soft tissue damage. On that same day, Big Man Can was killed racing at Laurel Park and suffered from fractures. Delaware River was killed at Laurel Park. They died in their stall on May 23rd. Again, multiple past turn fractures. It's our supporters. Lady Macho was uh, killed on March 18th at Laurel Park Racing. The horse fell to the track and another horse collided with her. She suffered from a shattered pastern, multiple lacerations, profuse arterial bleeding, and she was euthanized on the track and that horse was only six years old. Hello Jamra was killed on April 2nd at Laurel Park racing, but not euthanized until April 11th. The horse was very fractious in the gate and hit her hind end, developed an infection, cellulitis in her right hind, subsequently developed laminitis in her left hind and she was euthanized. Hello Jamra was only three years old. We call him Clyde, killed at Laurel Park training on April 8th, the jockey noticed something was wrong and pulled up a comminuted pastor and fracture in multiple pieces, severe bleeding stomach ulcer, post-mortem had rat predation on the face. That horse was only three years old. Having a meltdown. Sorry, this one's hard for me because um, we were there. Um, having a meltdown was only three years old and killed on Preakness Day, May 20th at Pimlico Racing. This horse was injured on the track, ran loose, had an open disarticulated fetlock, comminuted sesamoid fracture, severe tendon damage, 
also degenerative joint disease in all four limbs, especially the, the leg that they broke, and large nematodes scattered throughout their intestines. Again, having a meltdown was only three years old. Gold bar, January 14th, Laurel Park training. The horse was tacked in its barn in anticipation of training. The horse collapsed, but was able to stand again. The horse collapsed a second time and had a seizure. The horse's membranes then turned dark red. Blood poured from the horse's nose following euthanasia. They suspect chest trauma. Utterly Courageous was killed at Laurel Park training March 5th. Not euthanized until March 29th. The horse broke down at the top of the stretch, comminuted displaced sesamoid fracture. After several weeks of treatment in her stall, it was decided to euthanize. That horse was only four years old. Fourth was killed on March 25th, uh, racing at Laurel Park. The horse collapsed in the dirt, a compound comminuted displaced fracture of the cannon and euthanized on the track. Again, this horse was four years old. Notion Street was killed at Laurel Park training on April 8th. The jockey noticed something was not right and pulled up the horse. There was multiple fractures. The right eye and lip are missing from rat predation while awaiting necropsy. Again, this horse is only three years old. So this is a day today where we are all gathering around and sorry, raising our voices for these horses. And it's also a day that we are raising our voices very, very loudly to end this and to help these horses to stop the suffering. Um, all of these horses that are confined in their stalls, whipped repeatedly, we are raising our voices as loud as we possibly can to end their suffering. And so thank you so much for joining us and for lighting your candles and, you know, changing all your profile pictures at home to the Vigil for Horses uh, picture and joining us. Um, and more and more every day, I just want to say that we are seeing so much progress and it's so inspiring even being here today. There's another one where we're, you know, holding a, a protest for the first hour here. And we got a lot of honks and a lot of support. So um, we're getting there and we just need to, you know, just keep plugging along. Just don't give up and just keep going, you know, fighting for the horses. But um, Bailey's going to go ahead and um, Bailey's going to go ahead and pan um, our activists here who have um, come out today. And um, thank you for listening and keep fighting for those horses. Don't ever give up. had no hostility here today. One owner of horses stopped and said that it's bad trainers that are hurting this business. That would be like saying that you're going to be operated on, but there's only a few doctors, so don't worry, a few bad doctors, so don't worry about it. So hopefully everybody can come out on the 23rd of this month to the parks, racing, and casino in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I won't say too much other than please spread the word that horse racing is not entertainment. It's abuse, animal abuse. These poor horses are killed out on the track, dying every every year. How many times? 17 a year here. And um, at this racetrack in Delaware, spread the word. That's all I can say. It's not even enough I could say, but please, please don't look at horse racing as entertainment. It's other than that. Thank you. Imagine yourself running a mile in the extreme heat with no break and just being hit with a whip constant. Just imagine yourself. Just have one question. How many more have to die?
I want to thank you all for being here today, both online and in person, to those who attended the Vigil for the Horses at Saratoga Racecourse, um, in Kentucky at Churchill Downs, and in Delaware at Delaware Park. Across the nation today, we're united in hopes that one day this industry ends. We will never ever stop fighting and we will always be speaking up for the horses all across the United States and around the world. Thank you all for joining us and being united in this mission, um, for speaking out. Again, thank you all. We just happened to see a horse driving by who for all we know, could be the next, you know, victim of horse racing and the next, you know, statistic, but they're not just a statistic to us. Every single horse, horse's life matters. Every single number, every single death, every single one of these horses matters to us. And we thank you all so much for fighting for them and for memorializing all of those horses who lost their lives due to horse racing. Um, thank you all. And do you have anything else you'd like to say to end it off? Again, as Bailey said, thank you so much for joining us today. And today, again, is a day to remember all of these countless horses killed in this evil industry. But not only to um, be a voice for all of those who have died, but be a voice for the ones who are currently being confined, whipped, raced to literally to death. And so, but saying that we are a big, loud voice for them. And we will not go silent until we end this, and we will end this. And so thank you all of you for your support, and join us um, however you can, and together we will end horse racing. Thank you.